show you how to take a piece of fabric and turn it into a quilted vest that you'll be able to wear with your wardrobe and enhance it for years to come. Come along and let's get busy quilting. To get started with our project, the first thing we need to do is get our pattern. Now I have selected a pattern that fits me. It is a loose jacket pattern that just falls open in the front. But a vest pattern would be fine. Purchase a pattern a size larger than you normally would wear so that when we quilt it, you'll still have room to move in it. We want to take the pattern and pull out the front piece and the back piece. Now we're going to take them and lay them flat and tape them together in the center. And I have done this on some white paper. This would be the front piece and this would be the back piece on the fold. Now we're going to tape them together here under the armhole. Then we're going to lay them out on a large piece of paper, as I've done here, trace around it, then flip it over and trace it again so that we have a completed vest pattern all in one piece here. We're going to lay this flat so that we can do it all at one time and quilt it. We're going to leave the top of the armholes open and we will put them together at the end so that it's a reversible vest. So let's get busy. When you choose the material for your vest, try to pick something that has colors that will go with the rest of your wardrobe. Now this one I picked out, this was on a clearance table, and I love clearance tables. It has the blacks and the browns, but it has a small little shiny dressy thread in there. And this will make up very nice. The next one I've got to show you. This has got your navies, your olive greens, your browns, and your blacks. This would go great as a uh, dressy casual vest to go with jeans or khakis. So think about these things as you're pulling out your material. When it's holiday time, find you some holiday material and make you up a couple of vests. It doesn't take very long, and it really gets you in the festive spirit. Today I have chosen this wild print. It's on the wall behind me. But I chose it because of the wild, bold colors. I like bold colors, and it's just so different. Nobody's going to have a vest like this, and I want that. Um, it has black in it to wear with the black pants, but it has the bright colors so it does not get um, dreary on you. It also has some white in there so I can wear a white blouse or a turtleneck under it. And a lot of times in the winter, we need to layer our clothing because you may go somewhere and it's cold outside and then you get inside and it's warm. And when you're wearing these vests, you can take them off inside and, and layer your clothing so it, it makes it a lot nicer to be able to adjust to the temperatures. But the next thing I want to tell you is when you're choosing your fabric, this one has a wild print on it, and I want to center this right here on the back of my vest. I don't know how it's going to come out exactly, but I want this on the back of the vest, and then each side would go this way. So we're going to see how this works out, and then if I'm brave, I'll wear it out in public. So let's get busy and layer our fabrics now. We have the fabric for the outside of our vest, but we need a couple of other things to go with it before we can put this together. We need a lining for our vest, and hopefully it's a lining that it will make a reversible vest. I'm going to use this wild batik print and put it on the inside. It's got some of the same colors in it, and if I'm not too bold, I'll wear this on the outside, and if I want to really have a bright day, I'll wear this other color on the outside. The other thing we will need is poly, poly or cotton batting. Now, you can use any of the blends if you want to. Polyester is lightweight. It washes and dries very well, and when I wash these vests, I wash them on gentle, and then I hang them to dry. If you use cotton, you're going to get a little more of the crinkly effect, but it may shrink up a little bit more. So you decide which one you want, but I'm going to use polyester batting today, and we'll get busy, and we'll layer these and get ready to pin them together. 